So Mercyhurst, we've, this is the second time we've played them this year. It's the second weekend. We played them in November uh, in Erie. And the biggest takeaway from that weekend is how good they are offensively and how good they are in transition. So a big key for us this week in our preparation has been our transition to defense. We want to limit turnovers. We want to make good puck decisions, but in the event that we do turn pucks over, in the event that they do transition to offense, which will happen, that we have to do a really good job of identifying off the rush, working hard on our back check, and eliminating their opportunities in transition. And always the case when we play Mercer, our special teams are vitally important. So we're going to have to win the special team battle both nights. And if we do that, we'll give ourselves the best chance to win. So a big part of our success in the second half of the year has been identifying maybe what our weaknesses were in the first half. And then coming into the second half with a game plan on how to get better in those areas. The biggest key component has been our team defense. And it's always been part of our culture, part of our identity to play strong defensively. But in the first half, we got away from that. We scored a lot of goals, so we didn't necessarily believe that we had to play as hard as we need to play. And we learned some tough lessons along the way. What we've changed in the second half hasn't been any systematic things. We're still playing the same way. It's been our buy-in. It's been our commitment to doing it because we understand that's a big part of our identity. And that's going to allow us to have the most success as the season goes on and into playoffs. So we've really worked hard at it, and it's shown in our numbers since Christmas. And we're going to need to be great defensively this weekend in order to have success. Brock Sheehan and Peter Roundy have done a great job all year, but especially since Christmas, at really focusing in. Peter focuses more on the forwards development. Brock focuses more on the uh, defenseman development. And those guys have been hard at work just doing some extra things, bringing the forwards in together as a group, watching forward video. Peter does that. Brock brings the D in. And what we've seen is we've seen a lot of growth in our game just in the last month since we've been back by doing that. They, you know, any good head coach has two great assistants behind them. And I'm so pleased to have Peter and Brock on my staff. So my first stars for this weekend series against Mercy Hurst so are my associate head coach Brock Sheen and assistant coach Peter Roundy. It's great to be back at home at the Heart Center after being on the road last weekend. We're one and one with Mercyhurst on the year. We're one point behind them in the standings. The Heart Center is a really tough place to play. It's a tough place for opponents to play. When we have people in the building, we have a great atmosphere. It gives us a home ice advantage. We're looking forward to everyone coming out to the Heart Center and supporting us this Friday and Saturday night against the Lakers.